this is where it all started out. My parents were heavily involved here, so it was a case of you were going to the club and, and that was it. When I was quite young, I got injured just when I was 15 years of age and I badly hurt my knee. I would have fractured my kneecap and torn my cruciate ligament and it was probably before there was too many scans available and um, so I was x-rayed and different things. So ultimately, it was a career ender for me, unfortunately. Shattering, to be honest with you, I had to find a way of staying involved, you know, because uh, ultimately it's all I knew, it's all our family knew, our GEA people. My father would have been a very successful manager and a brilliant coach, so ultimately it was what I seen, what I knew from him, the example he had set for me. But the way I stayed involved, so my first proper job was here at the Confi Senior Ladies in 2008, 2009, and uh, my father would have passed away when he was young, and Kildare Senior Ladies Championship was named after him. So it's the Cairnbrook Memorial Championships. We won it in 2009 for the first time ever in the club here, and I was the manager, my brother was one of my selectors, so it was a huge, huge day for us as a family and us as a club, and it was a brilliant, brilliant time, so it'll take a lot to, to, to beat that, I'd say, you know. To me, I'm proud of us, 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 got the town, Ern Shoy, and Rishog, so much you go in these far, got the little from there, I moved into Kildare in the 20s in 2019. We had a pretty good year that year with them. We ended up winning the All-Ireland that year. The Dublin senior ladies, I learned more from them girls than I taught them, that's for sure. They're incredible people and the, the standards that they expect and they demanded. I took so much of my preparation and what I bring forward into my teams from that group of girls. Really, really needed a couple of years on my club. I learned a huge, massive amount. Brilliant football people down there who taught me so much, and even the players. And I needed that experience. Maybe at the time I didn't believe I did, but I definitely know now I needed that experience, you know? I'm very energetic. I, I, I play every ball, I kick every ball. I really, really get involved. I get stuck in, I roll up my sleeves, I have to whistle at training. I think my passion, my energy, I do think I bring people along with me. Um, I can be quite direct at times, um, and, I, and I do think my, after a while people get used to it and people enjoy that. I never like to do things in straight lines, you know, so I'm, I'm completely different than everyone else. I'm not an ex-player of any note or anything like that, so I, I love that. In Wicklow, two years ago, I was the youngest Inter county manager of all time, but no one knew me then. That was the difference, so uh, it doesn't add any more pressure. The very first thing I would have said to any of lads, we need to be consistently competitive here. Every single day we go out, let's be a seven, seven and a half out of ten, and, and you'll win a lot of games. It's this crack of being an eight today and a five tomorrow, that would drive me insane, to be honest with you. We started very well, we had Tyrone coming to town in the first round of the league, so we needed to make sure in the hide you know, we were going to represent ourselves very well, and ultimately we got the result there. We moved on into Galway the following weekend. We eked that result out. If then two weeks later, then we'd have Armagh coming back to the height, and we'd be really, really dug that one out. I was delighted with that performance. Davy Burke, fire out Shin Marcellura, long the fashion. We were winning, I was worried would they be complacent, would they be getting ahead of themselves and there wasn't a bit of it. And now we've lost a couple of games in the bounce and it hasn't taken an, an ounce out of them. So they're a really experienced bunch of lads and every Tuesday I come back in, I nearly don't know if they won or they lost because they're just ready to go to work again. And, and for me that's, that's, that's unreal feeling. For me as a young manager that's where I want to be, you know, I want to be up against the likes of Jack O'Connor, I want to be in Tralee on a Saturday night. For the group, like we're very, very excited, we're, you know, we want to go down there and get two points on the board. It's exactly where you want to be, is coming up against these guys.